Welcome everyone to day 5 of the 12 Days of Anime, where I will be talking about Steins Gate Zero. Steins Gate Zero had some of my favorite episodes of the entire year. It also had some not so favorites, but we won't be talking about those today. Now, today what I want to focus on is the story of how Okabe put on his lab coat. Spoilers, by the way. Steins Gate Zero is all about the story of Okabe and how he deals with his failures from the original. He was unable to save everyone he cared about then and basically gave up, accepting that there was nothing more he could have done. But he lives his life feeling guilty and really struggles to move forward. This isn't the over-the-top and boisterous Okabe that we came to love in the original, or at least that I came to love in the original. This is instead a man who has hung up his lab coat. He is no longer a self-proclaimed mad scientist that dreams of doing the impossible. But of course, throughout the series, we knew at some point this would change. That he would figure out a way to save everyone, becoming the mad scientist once again. But this was a long road for him to take. Though when he finally rushed into the lab, started laughing maniacally, and asked for his lab coat, it made the wait so worth it. And what makes a moment like this so powerful is all the build-up and everything we knew going into it. Like Okabe saying these weird things, or talking to the organization on his phone just by his phone not working, or proclaiming the lolly whose name I forgot is now lab member 009. Just all these come together and are, they're so awesome. But to an outside observer, they would mean nothing except that Okabe is insane. But to the viewer and the characters who understand what all this means, they see that this is Okabe going insane, but in a good way. And I love how hard fought for the scene was. This happened in episode 21, after Okabe had been through just so much. For the first half of the series, he was really grieving Kuriasu. Then he saw Mayori die in the time machine, multiple times even. And then his whole journey to the future and back and just all that. These events broke him. But they also, in a way, encouraged him and gave him something he needed to fight for. And also, and more importantly, a hope that he could actually do something here. Him putting his lab coat back on is a way of proclaiming to the world that he isn't going to just let fate do it at once with his friend. But he'll find a way to give everyone a happy ending. And I also have to say that I love the voice actor for Okabe here in the Japanese. The English dub for the show is great. Don't get me wrong, I like it quite a lot. But Okabe specifically is is done so perfectly in the Japanese, and it shows his insanity so well. It's the same voice actor and the same type of performance that he gave for the manager in Zombieland Saga, and you can probably guess who my favorite character from that show is, and just the way he does it is so wonderful. You want to root for him because his character makes no sense, but it is just awesome. And here he delivers these lines so well. And, of course, it's fun seeing Okabe being a mad scientist, and with all the context building into it, you want to see how he will figure out a way to save everyone, and how he can pull off his crazy plan. So, thank you for joining me for this day 5 of the 12 Days of Anime. Yes, I'm a day behind. We might catch up, or I'll just go past Christmas. Either way, thank you for watching, and I will probably see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Talk to you then.